It says, um, suppose that the world's current oil reserves is 2180 billion barrels. If on average, the total reserves is decreasing, going down by 17 billion barrels of oil each year, it's going down by 17 billion barrels of oil each year, answer the following. Give a linear equation for the total remaining oil reserves in terms of T, the number of years since now. Ah, so, so this time T is just number of years since now, not, not after the year 2000 or the year 1990 or you know any specific year. It's just T is years from now. So that's a little easier, a little more straight ahead. Okay, so let's do that. That'll be part A. And then I think B and C will follow right from A. Come on down here, let's do part A. So basically, again, it's, see these keywords? Give a linear equation. So whenever they say, find a linear equation, I again, refer you to the notes. Um, I put that right on here, finding a linear equation. This is the exam, I'll put it up top there, exam two notes. There it is, exam two notes, finding a linear equation. All the steps are there. So I'm gonna basically follow those steps, step number one. Find, we got to find two points. Here we go again. Find two points. What are my two points? Well, um, oh no, my, my mistake. I mean, we are, we are finding a linear equation, but we don't need to find two points. They're giving us a bunch of information. They're telling us that the oil reserves is 2180 currently. So that's your starting rate? What's that? So that's your starting point? Yeah, that's, that's, our, that's our starting point. And um, that's right, 2180 is the current oil reserve. So that's telling us, so remember what our two variables are, T and R. T is what? Um, right here. Number of years since now. T is number of years since now. And R is the uh, reserve, oil reserves. Oil reserves. So basically, if they're saying we start at 2180 and it's decreasing by 17 billion barrels of oil each year, that's our equation right there. It's minus 17T plus. 2180, done, that quick. Does everybody see that? Is that, is that confusing? See this, in this one, they're actually, this is the slope right here. That's, that's the trick that you realize they're handing us the slope right here. Decreasing, and it's negative 17. See why it's negative? Because it's going down. It's decreasing by 17 billion barrels of oil each year. That's a slope billion barrels of oil per year. The slope is negative 17 billion barrels of oil per year. Remember a slope is one thing over the other. Well, that's exactly what the negative 17 is. Billion barrels of oil per year. That's your slope. So the slope, remember the y equals mx plus b? So the slope goes right here next to the variable, the X, or in this case, the T. And now, okay, you might be like, okay, great. But why is the 2180 back there? Well, remember what the 2180 is. Current, current. What does current mean? Times zero, right? Why? Because what, what, is, t, what is T? T is number of years, number of years since now. Well, now is zero years since now. Did that sentence make any sense, right? If T is how many years from now, if T is zero, that means right now. And that's what they said, current, that's right now. When T is zero, R is 2180. Okay, so why does that mean back here? Well, because if we plug in zero for T, that means if we plug in zero for T, R better equal 2180. That means 2180 must be back here. If I plug in zero for T, this part's gone and R equals 2180. So they're giving us the y-intercept, in other words, when they say that. They're giving us the 2180 at the back. So that was very nice of them. And then on part B, 
They say 13 years from now, how much oil? Well, that's T equals 13. So I just take that formula we got, which is P equals minus 17 T plus 2180. Grab that 13 and I pop it in right there. And so, or this should be R, huh? not, not P. I'm still thinking back to some of those other problems. Reserves is minus 17 <clears throat> times 13 plus 2180. So the oil reserves hit the buttons on your calculator. So what I'm doing minus 17 times 13 plus 2180 is 1959. 1959 billion barrels of oil, okay? And then see, if no other oil is deposited into the reserves, the world's oil reserves will be completely depleted approximately how many years from now? Ah, that's a good question. So if it just keeps going down, right? This is going down, decreasing 17 billion barrels of oil each year. If nothing else happens, it just keeps going down, 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 down. How many years from now Will it be completely depleted? Well, let's, let's take the formula, put C down here. Put C. Formula is the oil reserves is minus 17T plus 2180. So let's, uh, they're, they're saying, um, completely depleted. That means the reserves are zero. That's when it's completely depleted, when the amount of reserves are zero. So they're saying, um, find T, find T when R is zero. Do you realize that's what they're basically saying? That's exactly what they're saying. Find T, like how many years from now, what is T, how many years from now, when it's completely depleted, meaning R is zero. So that means I take this formula, and I go, okay, I need to find T when R equals zero depleted. Never can spell completely, another E with it. Completely depleted, R is zero. So then you just plug in right there, zero for R and solve your equation for T. So let's solve for T. Here's the um, wall of separation. T is saying, I want to be alone. Subtract 2180 from both sides. Ganzo, ganzo. So we get minus 2180 is minus 17T. Last step, divide by minus 17, boom, boom. T equals, I'm gonna use my calculator. Two negatives are gonna be positive. I'm getting 128.235. So that's how many years? That's how many years in 128.235 years, if nothing changes, the oil will be depleted. So let's go back. And um, they, oh, they say two decimal places. That's what I was looking for. Two decimal places. Okay. So 128.24. It'll have to round to 24, is my answer, because, right, you know, decimals, if you cut it there, that five says to round up. So 128.24. So there we go. That's a little bit tricky how you figure that out. Use that formula and you plug in R as zero because that's when it's completely depleted, no reserves, zero reserves. And then you just solve for T, you find out the time when that happens. So there we go, real life word problem, linear function.